Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today with another video review, and this time I'm taking a look at a toy that's new for this year. It just came out a bit earlier in the year. It's called the Botsy's Coding and AR Robotics Kit, and this particular one was kindly donated in by the good folks at Pi Technology, so I do want to give a shout out and a thank you to them for sending it along. Now, the first thing that I would like to say about it is that this toy combines multiple different play patterns and it is intended for kids ages four and up and it's also a stem based learning or educational toy of course stem stands for science technology engineering and math so it's intended to help kids to learn the basics of computer coding and programming as well as a variety of other different things now the key play patterns here include building so it's like a building block uh, type of toy uh, there's also coding which which is basically programming things uh, mostly within the augmented reality part of the Botsy's AR app and we'll get to that in a second and then there's control so there's three main ways to play with this kit now as for the building aspect it's just a simple matter of putting all the pieces together just like with any other build type of toy only with this set which has over 130 total bits and pieces uh, there are a large number of oversized ones and oddly shaped ones that are really easy for small hands to get a hold of and work with. And you can see me here putting together what I consider to be the main robotic mode in the set. And this one, he's actually called Botsy. And he can roll around and turn and, and do different fun stuff like that. But anyway, each of the six official character builds has its own unique name and features, different things that it can do. Uh, but this is the one that's featured on the front of the box. And it actually only uses a fraction of the pieces to complete the build. And it literally took only about five minutes to fully assemble. In fact, they're all like that none of them use the entire uh, kit and they're all really simple and straightforward and only take maybe five to ten minutes at the most to put together so the goal with the building play pattern is for kids to learn through tactile or tangible hands-on play so they get to touch and handle all the different bits and pieces and see what fits together with what and how and they can either build one of the six officials botsies uh, robot character modes like i did here or they can use their own imagination and come up with a completely original and new design all of their own creation but if they do choose to build one of the official character modes, there are great step-by-step -step instructions provided in the Botsy's AR app, which is really cool because it's so easy to follow along with, and I honestly have no doubt that just about anybody can do this. So among the official builds that you can choose from, there is one that is either a walrus or a seal or a sea lion type of thing. His name is actually Celix, so I guess we can assume that he's a seal. And anyway, he moves along just like a real seal. It's really cool. And cute to watch and I think that he's probably my favorite out of the official builds in the set or at least pretty close to it. Now another of the builds called Dee Dee is either an alligator or a crocodile and this one which is probably pretty close to being my second favorite to, in terms of uh, for the overall set. Uh, this particular one has jaw chomping action which is pretty cool though it does take a fair bit of leverage for it to work so it does tend to slow down after the first few bites. It still looks really cool though and it's another fairly quick and easy one to put together then there is a drum playing monkey called Ringo and uh, he's pretty cute and funny too uh, his arms actually kept falling off from all the vigorous drumming and sometimes he'd knock one of his own ears off because his arms would keep hitting them but it was comical to watch so it wasn't you know particularly annoying or anything like that I really actually had a lot of fun with this mode I just wish that some of the pegs in the set were just a little bit longer and some of the holes just a little bit deeper so that everything would seat together better and pieces wouldn't you know occasionally fall apart which they tended to do from time to time now the fifth build that we have is a really cool looking dog called rex though it could actually be a dog in his owner riding a cart i can't quite be sure but it is another really cute build and he rolls around in all different directions and you can kind of get him going similar to how a dog gets when he's really excited and he starts wiggling and wagging his tail and everything like that it's just really cute and finally there is a build called turbo and that one's basically a truck uh, with a little guy driving on the top of it there. And that one can roll around too. And I think that's probably the one that used the most pieces overall. Although maybe not by a whole lot because the uh, alligator one used a fair amount of pieces as well. Now anyway, uh, each of the builds does its own unique and interesting thing as you can see here. But they all pretty much just look like really cutesy robots in their different configurations. 
Now, the coding play pattern has 30 different interactive augmented reality puzzles that are intended to help kids learn key coding concepts and lessons through visual cues. And if your child enjoys puzzles, this might be the play pattern that they end up having the most fun with. Although I do have to say that I actually only had a smartphone to use it with myself and a tablet would have really been a whole lot better just so that everything would be bigger and a little bit easier to see. It's not quite as much fun on the small screen of my phone and believe me some of that AR stuff is really cool and you just have to see it to, to really understand. And anyway, finally, there is the control play pattern. And that one uh, basically treats your bots, these robots, uh, like uh, RC or radio controlled vehicles that you drive around and stuff. And that's all the different things that we've been looking at so far uh, in the video. So things like going forwards and backwards or turning side to side or the way that the monkey drums, you know, things like that. But uh, all of them can also make uh, cute sounds. There's music, they light up. There's all kinds of neat stuff. And it's all controlled right from your phone and the app. And of course, there's the Botsy's brain, which is one of the three main components of the kit. There's also a couple of servos or motors that come with it as well. But the brain of the system is actually what connects to your phone via Bluetooth. It's really easy to do. Uh, it connected to my phone right away without any difficulty whatsoever every single time. So I was really happy with that. Uh, and in fact, I was really pretty happy with every aspect of the Botsy's robotic kit. It is a whole lot of fun. And I have no doubt whatsoever that it's very educational for kids and I can certainly highly recommend it to pretty much kids of any age although like I say it does begin in the recommendations at four and up for the age now anyway that's all that I'm going to say about the Botsy's coding and AR robotics kit for now I do hope that you enjoyed the video or at least found it useful and you're certainly invited back here to check out any of my other videos at any time and subscribe if you want to or share the link with anyone that you know that might be interested in picking up the Botsy's kit for the kids or whatever but for now i'd just like to thank you all for watching have an excellent day and i'll see you in the next review